Sunny Games here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, another update today. <laughs> another sneak peek preview. But this time it seems to be about an in-game event that is coming to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, I am excited to get into this. I'm I'm excited by the idea of another event. Um, I have no idea how long this update is going to be. I have a feeling this update might run a bit longer than the last update so i don't think things are going to be so stressful in terms of like star path completion um i have seen a a lot of people talk about it and i think the reason in why people thought the last one was so stressful was because it was on the shorter side we have had star baths before run at like 42 days but it's not often it's not often so i have a feeling that's what stressed a lot of people out along with having a event and then also all the bugs and issues i think it was just a perfect storm really that put a lot of people off um i think if this update is longer which i have a feeling it is going to be because i believe the next update is a summer update so we've got like loads of time for that update to come um i do think that it won't feel so stressful for people at least that's my thought and not everyone not everyone um but i have a feeling because there will be people who have time off for holidays and stuff like that if you're in like some form of education that's usually coming to a close around now um well i say that <laughs> if i was in the uk unless i was at uni i'd probably still be in school right now but i mean that's another story <laughs> um yeah i i would say we're coming to the like summer holidays basically so people might have more free time on their hands because of that um obviously i know what it's like working full time and not always getting time off in the summer and stuff so um i know it's a different story when you do work a, a regular job but i know for some people they might take vacation time in the summer so this might be the time that you get to catch up on everything so i don't think it's going to be so stressful that's just my initial thoughts um but i am really excited about this and you guys don't want to hear me <laughs> rambling about the possibilities of how a star path could be easier or not so let's jump over to twitter let's take a look at what they've put and uh discuss it okay so here we are over on twitter and it says embrace your new emotions with an in-game event inspired by inside out 2 starting june 26th Get ready to earn new animal companions that are sure to make you the envy of the valley. Plus, keep an eye out tomorrow for one more update preview. So, we are getting an update preview tomorrow. I have a feeling... So, in my last video, I talked about how I was a bit nervous that we weren't really getting a lot of information. I think it's because we're going to get a preview tomorrow monday we might get the trailer and tuesday perhaps the patch notes or perhaps tuesday we get the trailer and wednesday the patch notes depending on how they do it um i have a feeling that's what they're gonna do so i think we're still gonna get that because i was a bit worried thinking like if the few updates that we have like the week long of information includes like um you know the the patch notes or like the trailer and stuff like that i was like we're not gonna have a lot of you know information left to come it's not going to be a week's worth but perhaps they're not including that in the previews maybe i don't know let me know what you think about this or are you kind of expecting that tomorrow we're just going to get the trailer and stuff like that let me know how you're feeling because I don't know i was really excited to get loads of information and then it feels like i'm not sure <laughs> i don't know i don't know i mean i do get it like you don't want to have everything spoiled you want things to be a surprise um i totally get that and do to somewhat agree but also i like having teasers i like this building of excitement kind of thing i think you know that, that that's the thing for me but yeah so 
I am intrigued to see what tomorrow's update preview is going to be. I will try and get video out quicker than this one. I have been at a barbecue today. I am going to a barbecue again tomorrow. Um, <laughs> it's quite a lot of barbecues going out. Um, <laughs> and so it's. I, I will see what time I get back. I will see what time I get back. Hopefully I'm back in time. Um... So I'm excited about that. Now it says about emotions and in-game event inspired by Inside Out 2. I think that's super fun. I love that they're tying it to a um like a film release. I like that kind of like cohesion. I think that's kind of nice. Um I do wonder sort of how this kind of event will play out in the future. Um I, I wonder, I wonder, like I wonder if it's something that is going to be a limited time event or not because they haven't mentioned that but I don't know, let's get into this trailer because that's what you guys are wanting me to go over really so let's play it first of all and then I can like fast forward to bits as and when. Hey Valley Villagers, our next update, The Lucky Dragon, will introduce Memory Mania, a new Disney and Pixar's Inside Out 2 inspired in-game event that will run from June 26th to July 17th. Here's what you need to know. You'll need to seek out event items that spawn daily to complete memories, so make sure to log in regularly. Completing each memory will unlock exclusive event rewards, including new emotion-themed animal <laughs> companions. Throw your best guesses at what Ennui and Envy-inspired companions might look like in the comments. See you in the valley! Okay, so this preview was basically just about the event. Um, I think it's really exciting to kind of see. Um, so we go over here and then we don't see anything else. But I'm guessing in our mailbox we'll be sent a letter. And that will go through the event and what we need to look for. Now it mentions about looking for items. Um, I don't know specifically what they're going to be. I don't remember if it shows us. Um... Let's Here's have a look. Need You'll need to seek out event. Yeah, we don't we don't actually see what she interacts with here. I'm just rewinding to see if I can see. No, we just see the star. Oh wait, wait, wait! It's the hockey kit. It's Riley's hockey kit. Oh, oh, okay. So they're gonna be in uh, inside out um, inspired items. It seems now. I'm curious, they've made these items, w will we possibly get these as rewards? Will we? That was very much a no, blink and you'll miss it. Because I really didn't see that the first time round. And in the castle, oh we don't see anything in the castle, unfortunately. So it looks like these spawn anywhere. Maybe a bit like the, um, you know the buzz aliens that you had to collect so it seems like it might work similarly similarly if i can talk to that <laughs> it might be similar to that um where they can kind of spawn perhaps in villager homes in the valley in the castle and such like that now we do have this memory which this looks like um i haven't watched the film but i have seen the trailers and this is riley's birthday and um I guess she kind of is going for you pre uh, puberty, puberty and stuff like that. I can't even talk. Um, so I guess this is a scene from her birthday. Maybe she feels a bit awkward and embarrassed here. Um, so looking at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten things there. I don't know if we're going to have multiple memories or just one. And then... Each day we log in, we find an item and that item will give us part of the memory. And when we complete the memory, we get the critters perhaps. Or maybe there's going to be like four or five. Yeah, four of them. It's four new emotions, isn't it? We have the embarrassed one. We have anxiety. We have ennui and envy. If you've seen the film, let me know. Is it four or five? I assume it's four. Um, because she mentions about ennui and envy and what we predict they might look like. Um, so I think it's going to be four. So there might be no, because how long's the event running for? Because if it's if it's four pictures and they're all say like ten 
pieces each that's going to be 40 days well we haven't got 40 days for the event have we <laughs> yeah it's only like okay so my assumption perhaps is because there's 17 days there and then another four so you're talking like 20 days my guess is maybe just the one picture that we have to maybe complete and then maybe then we get all the companions at that point that's what i would guess maybe or maybe we get them um, sometimes with the memories and stuff i do wonder if we'll get this as a decor item this little hockey thing um i think that'd be kind of cute and then this is a better look at the anxiety uh squirrel i think this looks quite cute quite funny um looks a bit more oh my god <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the cat just jumped on my desk. I wasn't expecting that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, the companion, the crit companions. It does look a bit kind of like wild-eyed here, <laughs> which I think is funny. Um, and then this turtle companion, this is so cute. This is adorable. Um, I think this companion. looks really cute. Throw your best guesses at what Ennui and Envy inspired to So, throw your best guesses about Ennui and Envy. I am thinking... Envy has, like, the really big eyes. So... That's my drink! I'm so sorry, guys. The cat's trying to drink my drink. I'm so sorry. Um, this is a bit of a chaotic video. Um... Yes, what was I trying to say? <laughs> yes, uh, Envy has the big wide eyes, I think, from what I've seen in the trailers. So I'm kind of leaning towards perhaps, perhaps the, um, the rabbit for Envy. Plus Envy's quite small. Um, Ennui, if I recall from the trailers, is quite, seems quite long. Thin and long, in a sense. So... I think Ennui could work really well as like a uh, um, a snake perhaps, just thinking of the long thinness, but I don't think we're likely to get a Eternity Isle companion as a regular one, so perhaps the fox, perhaps the fox because the fox has got like a tail and stuff, I'm just thinking of that long thin kind of vibe and I don't think the bird would make sense personally so i'm i'm gonna guess a fox for ennui and a rabbit for um envy that's my guesses let me know your guesses too um what else do they talk about nothing else okay so that's it that is literally it so we only really get a teaser at the companions which is great to see love to see it um, there's nothing else new in the background with these teasers. We see this teaser of a memory and then there's like no items here that I can see. Are they new glasses? I'm trying to work out if they are or not because they almost look like they're rimless. So I was trying to work out if they were new but I don't think they are. But yeah, this, this cool new like hockey item... I think that looks pretty cool. Like, I hope we get, like, if we get decor items like this, that we have them um, perhaps in-game to get. Like, from Scrooge or something, maybe? Or, like, after we've retrieved the memory, this becomes an item of furniture we have. Like, I think that would be fun. Um, but let me know down below, obviously, what you think. Let me know your theories and predictions how do you feel about this event um because i know a lot of people were kind of burnt out with the last event but i do personally have a feeling that it's just because of the perfect storm that was last uh star path in that we had a shorter star path which we don't have very often i think we've only had a 42 day one once before um I'll have to remember, I, I checked them out, I got all the lengths before, when I was trying to figure out ages ago, like, what, or when the star paths might be, or the updates and stuff like that, I went through every single one, calculated the downtime between each star path, and how long each star path was, um, 
So <laughs> I think it was just a combination of a shorter star path with an event with a game that was heavily bugged. Because let's face it, the game is pretty broken at the moment for most people. So I just think it was a bit of a hectic mix for a lot of people. Um, and I hope this event goes more smoothly, especially if they fix all the bugs and stuff like that. And if we do have a longer star path, I don't think it will feel so like so much pressure if that makes sense um at least that's my initial thoughts i'm willing to hear you guys out i love hearing what you guys have to say um so do you feel free to express your opinions down below anyway i'll leave this here i hope you have a wonderful day i'll be back tomorrow with another video <laughs> and we can go over what they share with us then um but i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or evening depending on where you are in the world and i'll see you all in the next video bye guys